Hello and welcome to Phoenix LiDAR Systems demonstration of Spatial Explorer 6. And today we will be highlighting the classification modules of Spatial Explorer uh, so that you can extract all the features of interest from your point cloud, uh, say the ground for uh, surface modeling or maybe particular features for uh, isolation of particular uh, areas of interest. So let's open up Spatial Explorer uh, where we left off with this colorized point cloud. So instead of the color here, we're going to be more interested in our classification. So I'm going to up our classification colorization. You can see that we don't have really any classification in here. I'll turn off our trajectory to make it easier to see. But there's a few uh, automated tools we can use as well as uh, manual tools to pull out features of interest or classify as needed. So if I go over to our edit button here and into our filter point cloud, let's go ahead and run a few filters here. Uh, we can see we have a couple noise points up here. So uh, first thing I'm going to do is uh, use our find noise. This uh, basically allows us to find um, a certain number of points within a certain radius and say whether that uh, point gets filtered or not. So we're going to use a radius of three meters, and uh, if there are fewer than five neighbors nearby, it will be classified as low point. So let's go ahead and uh, let this run. Now that filter has run, you can see uh, our noise points up here in the sky, as well as a few of the errant points out in the edge of the scan angle, have been flagged as low point, uh, just as desired. Let's also use, um, let's say, a find ground routine. Uh, this find ground routine allows us to uh, input many user parameters, uh, say a feature size, like buildings, um, holes to fill, things like that as well as other parameters to um, really customize your grounding routine. This is a fairly flat area, but um, with the right parameters, really any terrain can be properly classified. So let's go ahead and instead of using low point as our output, let's go ahead and allow this to classify ground and use the output of ground. We're going to take the low point out of the input just to uh, allow those points to not involve. And let's go ahead and let that find some ground. Now that our classification is complete, we can see we have a fair number of ground points in this point cloud now. And we can actually uh, visualize this a little bit better. I move this out of the way. Let's go to our visualization our classification. And let's actually just uncheck our everything except for ground. And we can see you know, this nice, thin, smooth ground model. Making sure that we have most most terrain without uh, including vertical features, uh, which always mess up the ground model. <clears throat> Once our we're happy with our, our our filtering, let's go ahead and save this classification to the point cloud. Okay. 
All right. Go ahead and close that. Let's open up our other classes. So now we've had some automated routines uh, classify some of our point cloud. Let's go ahead and uh, see what we can do manually. So let's say we want to extract a few features. Um, our potential client makes maybe wants to know the uh, relative size and height of these, as of, the, of these trees. So we can go ahead and use uh, manual classification tools. So we open up our classification window. I'm going to dock it over here. Open this up a little bit more so we can see our classification. So now we can utilize uh, two different views to see um, if we can classify. Let's use our profile tool here. Let's cut a strip across these trees. Apply it over here. We can see trees with picnic tables. But let's go ahead and uh, classify these trees as uh, high vegetation. I'm going to use one of our classification tools. There's above line, below line, left, right, between, as well as selection tools for fences here. We're going to use above line. We're going to allow it to classify any class, but instead of building, let's move this to high vegetation. And we'll zoom in. You can see quickly and easily. We can classify our tree as vegetation. Let's go ahead and grab these guys too. I didn't want to get the picnic table under there, just keep the foliage. And once again, once we're happy with our classification efforts, we can uh, always save those changes to the point cloud. Let's look at this, these trees real quick. Cool. I'm going to save these changes to the cloud. And now we have nicely classified point cloud. Of course, any feature could be classified to any classification, uh, but for today we we're just using the vegetation, the ground, and uh, filtering out noise as low points. Thanks for joining us today, and I look forward to seeing you in further Spatial Explorer 6 modules.